Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the desk mounting solution from Monster Tech. In full disclosure, they did send me this product for free in exchange for review. Uh, but the opinions expressed in this review are my own and nobody else's. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so Monster Tech sent me three different mounts, uh, two long ones and one short one, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but I did want to go ahead and mention right up front, I actually purchased uh, the Monster Tech desk mount about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. I have always liked them, so uh, you can probably guess where this uh, review is going to go from here. But uh, there are a few nitpicky things that um, I wish they would do a little bit better. Um, we'll get to those as we go. So first we're going to take a look at the standard mount. The standard mount uh, refers to the size in vertical height and horizontal length. The mount itself is made of aluminum 8020 stock. It has a aluminum fixed jaw plate at the top and a toggle clamp on the back to go ahead and fasten it to your desk. The mounting plate on the bottom, this is the mounting plate for the Thrustmaster Warthog throttle. The standard mount is the perfect height for me for the throttle. It comes in two different colors. It comes in the standard aluminum, like the one I had purchased long ago, and it comes in the black anodized version as well. Uh, the black one does suffer from scratches fairly easily. If you are loosening up any of the hardware to slide things around, if you're going to adjust the height of the horizontal beam vertically, uh, you got to be careful because it will scratch the surface unless you're going to use a Sharpie or something. I don't really know how you fix that. So just kind of buyer beware if you do get the black one and you're taking it down and tearing it apart kind of like I do. I have scratched a few of the components. So this is a horizontal beam that goes on the side of one of the vertical posts and I can put a mouse pad on top of here. And you can tell, let's move that up there. You can tell I've scratched it a bit. Um, that was done fairly easy. All I did was loosen this beam, which used to be on here and uh, I loosened it and I slid it up and down a little bit and that happened so and it doesn't it doesn't come off you can rub it all you want that's pretty much what you're stuck with and uh, not much fixing that the black does look nice I do like the things when they're all murdered out like this uh, back to the standard mount the standard mount does come with the horizontal the vertical beam the fixed jaw, the toggle clamp, and whatever plate you decide to get with it. Uh, it does not come with this piece. This piece is an accessory component. It is uh, for a mouse or put pad of paper or whatever you want. It can be attached anywhere vertically that makes sense. If you go too high, uh, it kind of doesn't really fit well. Uh, and if you go too low, uh, for the throttle I actually can get my hand caught on here. So you have to be careful where it goes, uh, but overall, this is a really cool attachment to have, especially in the stick side because you can put your mouse right there, move the stick around, and then your mouse is just right there to the right. It really is kind of cool. I didn't think it would be very cool to have. I kind of thought, well, you know, I have my desk, it's right there, but it, it puts your mouse just maybe six inches closer and kind of makes a world of difference. I was, I was shocked to find out. Now this is the long mount. Uh, this is obviously much taller and has a little bit longer uh, horizontal beam here so you can extend out your stick a little bit further and that's really good for when you have an extension like this when you push forward you don't smack the front of the mount itself on the other mount this horizontal beam is about half the distance and so you can imagine if i push forward about three inches here uh, i would end up probably hitting so that's something to consider, is if you're going to make this purchase, think ahead, future-proof yourself a little bit. If you go ahead and get, let's say, two standard mounts, you have the standard mount on the left for the throttle, and you have the standard mount, let's say you're using a center mount. If you don't future-proof yourself in that way, and later on down the line you get a stick that has uh, some sort of extension on it, you're going to end up not having enough travel in the front 
and you're ending up smacking the stick on the front of the mount here and that's just not going to be helpful for anybody okay so here's the third mount they gave me this is also a long now on this mount i went ahead and attached the cougar mfd accessory mount now unfortunately i can't stick my cougar mfd on here and the reason is i have modified it with a screen and the components on the back and it's already on a different mounting solution um, so unfortunately i can't stick that on there to show you what it looks like ideally you would stick that here this little notch is for the cable to the usb cable to run to your computer kind of get it out of the way uh, and then it has the mounting holes on the top here and comes with various other mounting brackets for various other things i'm not exactly sure what else you can put on here but it does have this nice little lip you can put a tablet, you can put your phone, it's adjustable. You can unscrew these two here and pitch it up and down. You can unscrew the, the nut on the back here and you can turn this forward and back like that. I loosened it up. It doesn't have any like kind of quick release. It, it feels like every adjustment you make, you got to then tighten everything again. That could be better. I wish things were like just thumb screws, you know, instead of having to use Allen's for everything. Getting your Allen wrench inside some of these locations is kind of a pain especially because every once in a while uh, i would use this and maybe i'm off by you know a couple degrees here and i go okay well I'll just tilt it up a little bit and now look it's it's loose again, right and i gotta go tighten everything again that's that was my biggest complaint with this so monster tech this should be adjustable with thumb screws or some sort of way to make it so I can adjust how I can get this out every single time because this is annoying. Overall, these mounts are completely solid. Uh, I have never had any problem with them at all. Quality wise, they've never come loose. I've never had an issue with them messing up my desk. There's a little bit of a film underneath here uh, that helps make sure that your desk doesn't you know get scratched or the surface gets screwed up in any way um that's really nice this clamp's very uh you know fairly solid never had an issue there i have had it so that i didn't tighten this side um when i was adjusting it once and i would tighten it and it would loosen and, uh you know took me a little bit to figure out what i was doing wrong but i've been a happy customer with monster tech for some time and it looks like their quality uh for boxing the items and getting them shipped and everything has gone up uh compared to what it used to be so kudos to them uh very nice product so the last two things they sent me this is a plate for keyboard um apparently it comes with those two screw holes there and uh they fit these two screw holes here so I'd take this plate off and then mount this right on top. I don't have a reason to use this. I don't have a reason to use this. Um, it doesn't make sense in my setup. This is probably something good for a custom pit, like a full on pit. And the last thing is this little guy. So this is a custom 3D printed part called a pitch adapter. And the way it works is it seems to me this is best used for a side stick scenario, but an example would be, this is an F16 stick. Uh, this is made by Real Simulator, and it actually is force sensing stick, so it doesn't have any moving parts. Well, just like the F16 stick, this is actually tilted forward a certain number of degrees. I'm forgetting what it is right now. This would do the same exact thing on a stick not designed this way. So. An example would be if I had the Thrustmaster Warthog stick, it doesn't tilt forward as much. It tilts back about probably 10 extra degrees maybe. This can be mounted to the front and you would screw this in here and this piece, the horizontal beam, would attach directly to it this way and that would pitch it up six extra degrees. Now, this piece, because it is 3D printed by Monster Tech, uh, is customizable if you needed 10 degrees 20 45 degrees they can make that happen and so if you have a side stick and it's not already built in with the ergonomics that you typically need on a side stick where your, your wrist is slightly bent forward then this might be a solution to look into now monster tech originally sent me this singular plate uh for a stick and 
initially when I was going to do this review, they had asked me, hey, what kind of stick do you have? What plates do you need? And uh, I told them this one. And this is for a Warbird uh, made by Verple. Now, turns out in the process of waiting to do this review, I had a friend who had uh, his stick go out. And so I sent him my Warbird because I wasn't using it at the time. And I had forgot that I was going to do this review with the Warbird. So I had this plate and I had no stick. So I ended up ordering two plates. I didn't ask Monster Tech for free parts. I decided, let's see how much this costs. And uh, I ordered two plates. I ordered the black anodized Warthog plate. And I ordered this bracket, which is for the Verple CM2. And it mounts to the front of the CM2 and then uh, fastens on the bottom and the top to the horizontal beam. Now, my biggest gripe this entire time when I purchased them before and I purchased them again for the two brackets is the cost of shipping. I really wish Monster Tech would figure out a North American vendor for their products because I can't afford shipping anymore. I get that this is a small industry but I feel like you got to either build the shipping price that you got to build the shipping into the price or you got to ship it for free, but it somehow needs to look like it's virtually free for shipping. The biggest turnoff for me is looking at a price of a product and everything seems acceptable. And then you hit go to cart and they tag on that extra 50, $45 shipping price. And you're like, now with tax and everything, I'm, I'm paying a hundred bucks more. Now my final remarks overall are that this is a quality product. You know, I'm a happy customer even prior to getting these pieces for the review. So that says something. Uh, but Monster Tech, if you could include Allen wrenches uh, for the various sizes of the screws that we're ordering parts for, that would be awesome. I don't technically need them, but I know that there are people who probably don't have them and uh, you know, it's an Allen wrench. Just include it. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope this answered any questions you had about Monster Tech. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.